Good evening. I'll be your board game sommelier tonight. Just the two of you? Very good. Perhaps I could interest you in one of our new flights made just for two that might help you expand your horizons. Very good. In that case, might I suggest... Hi, I'm Alex Hart, and welcome to Might I Suggest a Game, a channel devoted to helping you find your perfect board game. Before we start, why not click that subscribe button so I can keep bringing you that sweet, sweet board game content. Now that we're all squared away, today we're going to be talking two players. That's right, I'm talking you and me, me and you, me and my wife, me and my mom, me and your mom? Just kidding. <laughs> Unless? Especially during lockdown, there's nothing like sitting down after a full day of sitting down. Am I right? So why not sit down with a partner and play some of these two-player games? Now, there's a bajillion two-player board games out there, and I couldn't possibly fit them all in one video. So I've curated what I like to call a board game tasting flight. A selection of three board games of varying difficulties so that you can choose which one best suits your style. So, will one of these games be the perfect two-player board game for you? Let's find out, shall we? The first game in our Flight for Two is Jaipur a quick card game that has you and your opponent collecting silks, spices, and precious metals to sell for gold at the market. On your turn, you can either gather goods from the middle or sell sets of goods in exchange for point chips. If you want to take more than one card from the middle, you must switch them out with either cards from your hand or camels in your herd or a combination of both. If you choose to sell, Remember that you can gain bonus chips with higher rewards if you sell three, four, or five of the same good at a time. However, if you wait too long, your opponent might swoop in and you could miss out on the highest value chips of that good. Once three stacks of goods are empty, the round ends and players count up their chips and bonuses, including a five point bonus for the player with the most camels. Don't give away my strategy. Whoever has the most points wins a seal of excellence, and the first player to garner two of these wins the game. Jaipur has notes of other simple card games like Go Fish or Rummy, but it features a surprising complexity of strategy and builds to a strong finish that makes you want to play over and over again. If you're an aspiring spice merchant or a professional camel enthusiast, or you're just looking for something easy and affordable for two, with just enough luck where anyone can be competitive, then might I suggest Jaipur. The second game in our Flight for Two is Seven Wonders Duel, a light to medium weight strategy game where both players acquire resources or advance their military or scientific development over three ages in order to develop a civilization and complete wonders. Each player will start with four wonder cards, but only seven total wonders can be built, hence the name, so make sure you prioritize those as they'll give you the biggest bonuses. The resources you gain by drafting cards will make it easier to purchase better cards in later ages, and will also make it more expensive for your opponent to acquire that resource. You can win Seven Wonders Duel in one of three ways. You can gain military cards that allow you to advance to the end of the military track, if you're able to do so, you win the game immediately. You can also collect science cards with different symbols on them. If at any point you own cards with six of the seven possible symbols on them, you achieve scientific victory and again, win immediately. If neither of these situations come to pass, which is kind of a bummer, then the game carries on and the player with the most victory points at the end wins. Seven Wonders Duel packs quite the punch for its relatively small size, and although it may seem a bit complex up front, the smoothness of the gameplay and decision making combine for a robust experience that plays even better on your second, or third, 
or 10th try. If history was your favorite subject in high school, or if you're like me and just grew up playing Age of Empires, or maybe if you're just looking for a medium weight game with great replayability, then might I suggest Seven Wonders Duel. The last game in our Flight for Two is Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. You can play this one with more people, but in my experience, it plays best with a party of two. In Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, you and your partner match wits with the iconic Sherlock Holmes as you roam the streets of Victorian London, following leads, and tracing threads of evidence to solve strange mysteries with even stranger explanations. As you don your imaginary deerstalker cap and get ready to sleuth, you will explore a table-sized map of London, search through the daily newspapers for clues, and interview suspects in each case's meticulously put-together casebook. You can continue to investigate for as long as you like, but once you feel like you've reached a solution, you can flip to the back of the casebook for a questionnaire. Once you fill it out, you can check your answers, gaining points for each question you were able to answer correctly. Then, and this is my favorite part, you can read Sherlock's solution to the mystery and see which leads he followed to come to the correct conclusions. Technically, at this point you're supposed to subtract 5 points from your score for each lead that you followed that Sherlock didn't, but most of the time, I'm just happy if I found the right solution to the mystery. Sherlock Holmes' consulting detective is mysterious. It's frustrating, and just when you think you've gotten a handle on it, it slips right through your fingers. And that's what makes it thrilling. It's an open-world whodunit, the brilliant cousin of Clue without the dice rolling, a recipe that has aged to perfection. If you're at all a fan of the mystery genre, if you listen to true crime podcasts, or if you just want to try a new take on board games, then might I suggest Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. Thanks so much for sticking around for my very first board game tasting flight. I hope you all enjoyed it and you find a game or two that you might enjoy. But now it's your turn. What are your favorite two-player board games and what would your tasting flight look like? Drop your answers below in the comments so that I can feature some of those games in future Might I Suggest videos. Thanks for all the support so far and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can keep helping you find your perfect game. Once again, this has been a Might I Suggest a Game production, and I'm Alex, your board game sommelier, signing off.